Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of uh, E4 as Ethiopia. In the previous episode we started our war against Mamluks, which is still ongoing. Uh, we're currently having to siege down a lot of stuff from uh, Songhai, which is kind of delaying the progress in here a little bit. But we are going to be needing a new general over here for the army that lost it, uh, so let's go ahead and get another one. And we've got 3311. Not the worst. At least the one siege speed is going to be quite nice. It's going to be a little bit of a uh, skill against... Well, actually, a 3 and 3 is not bad. Right, well, we'll be doing a bit of uh, fighting here, no doubt, uh, soon enough again. But since the enemy capital is sieged down, I guess we could just go ahead and siege down another fort over here in Timbuktu. Actually, what I'm going to do in this uh, peace deal with the Songhai is we are actually going to pillage their capital. I want the development... And we are probably going to put in the war operations there. Should enough, they'll probably start uh, faltering anyway. It's just, uh, they are a fairly strong nation. Of course, after this war, it probably can't be said again. Let's go and seize down air. They've got a lot of uh, stuff. They're kind of uh, mostly using their troops here in the southern coast. Uh, so meanwhile, oh wow, we start a 7% siege over here in Timbuktu. They should be a fairly quick siege then. Corin Sokotra is almost done. Oh, and there we go. That's another siege done. The song, hi. Are you willing to take the peace deal yet? Nope. Never mind. Well, it's probably going to take a while. They're trying to... Oh, no, no. They're just moving through the fort there. Okay. Trade protection is Venice. All right, then. Oh, did we... Oh, we had a disease outbreak in here. Well, that's very unlucky. All right. There we go. That's another siege done. Let's go ahead and uh, take the shortcut. Get in here. We'll uh, make sure the DC is that uh, fort soon enough. Oh, there we go. 67 days for Timbuktu. That was fairly quick at the, that then. Let's go to the next fort. It's going to, you know, go through the fort. That's going to be probably the easiest way to make them uh, lose war score quite a bit. Oh, there we go. That's another siege done. Let's go ahead and send this one to Heavy. As soon as we're in here, they are now at a 0% chance of uh, winning the siege in Ife. It should be fairly easy combat for us. Yeah, they're already moving away. Let's get in there. No rest for the wicked. Oh, there we go. That core is done. Now we've got a combat in here. We've got slight advantage in numbers. We've got definitely the discipline advantage. they got slightly more on advantage, but there we go. The reinforcements have arrived. That is going to be a massive casualties for the enemy. But yeah, they took more casualties in their artillerymen rather than us the in entire battle. So that's not bad. Uh, so, hold on. Does... Right, the man in the hills does have a siege bit. Let's send him to Benin. And then you can probably go to Oyo, Katmandu's. And then, yeah, okay, we could... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Wall's Breach. Oh, that's quite nice. I thought it was minus 14% over here. Not necessarily quite as great as the inland sieges in here. But because, you know, the difference between inland and, of course, coastal is that we just have to blockade this area. And that's easier said than done right now. It's a bit far away from our supply lines. So how's the situation? Oh, right. So we've got Basra siege down with a fort there. There's a bit of uh, enemy ships here. Oh, right. Ottomans did take a lot of land from Hormuz. Not necessarily quite everything, but yeah. Well, we know that they didn't take everything. Now, Songhai, are you willing to take the peace deal yet? Nope. Still need another 100 points in there. So a decent bit more war score against them. But of course, a few more forts and all that should be fine. Or destroy their army once or twice. Oh, that's another fort. All right, let's get to Wagadougou. There's already twenty-one percent chance of uh, winning the siege in Benin. That's not too shabby. Oh right, did we already embrace the institution? We did, didn't we? Yes, manufacturing is the next one. We don't have a lot of manufacturers yet. We should probably need to start building a lot of those soon enough. We just haven't really had the money. We've been doing a lot of fighting and all that. Oh, accidental attack wipe over there. There we go. That's another siege done. Okay, now we've got a fairly good uh, war score. Are they... No, still not willing to take the peace deal. Again, we're, we are going to take the money and the pillage. Whether they want it or not. So it's just a matter of time. We are a little bit low manpower though, so we might need to take it a little bit easier. You know what, actually? Well, I guess we'll seize down that one. But yeah, it's been a little bit costly. Which is actually why we're actually now making money, because we've run out of manpower to reinforce troops with. Well, let's get another merchant, shall we? So do we already have a merchant in Aleppo? We did. Uh, we don't have a lot of uh, trade power in Basra. Uh, and Hormuz, I don't know if we really need to. We could try to put in one in Gujarat. 
We've got 7% trade power in there. Actually, no, we've got 80 trade power total. It's 7% of the total. So I could perhaps try to divert a bit more of trade from there through Gulf of Aden. Alternatively, is there... I could try to pull in trade from Katsina down towards uh, Ethiopia. You know what? That's what we'll do. Now, admittedly, a lot of this trade power is because we've got the place siege down, I reckon. So, no, I think we're going to go into Gujarat. We're going to divert a, a bit more of the trade in there. So, currently, it's 1.3. That we're pushing out, and then, well, as soon as the merchant has arrived there and the day has taken over, or the month has taken over, rather. There we go. So, now it's, uh, it's a four extra ducats, a bit more than that, actually. Heading towards Gulf of Aden, which are, a lot of that is then diverted towards Alexandria. So it should be a bit more money for us. Oh yeah, we're making 150 total. And Mamluks, no, 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 no. We've got to make truce with Songhai first. And they are not very um, happy about it. Okay, well, if we take the war reparations out, that's going to get us to minus 80 points. If we take the pillage out, that's... Uh, oh, they are almost ready to take that. I do want to get the money, though. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and send at least one of these armies back home. Uh, towards Egypt to not take as much attrition sieging down and everything. But hopefully we can uh, regain our manpower quickly. Oh, there we go. That's another siege done. Now, Songhai, I always think PC you would be. I could potentially put in a little bit. Can I not put in the pillage, actually? Um, not necessarily. I'll take a slightly less money. You know what? No, we want to take as much money, so we'll just don't take the pillage. That's fine. We'll take the provinces there that we needed for the mission. It's a fair bit of catalyst for us, but uh, so did the enemies take quite a bit. Right, let's uh, wait for these to be black flagged. There we go. 50 admin points. Get the coring underway. Well, we can't core most of it because the missionaries already took over, but those should be done fairly quickly, mind you. And now Mamluks wants... Well, actually, we can probably do a peace deal with you already. So, I want to take uh, the coast there. I want to take the coast in here. And I guess I'll take a uh, Bishra as well. So you're willing to take that easily. We'll take the money. Um, I can't pillage the capital because I'm taking their capital. I could actually take the Sir as well. That might be a bit of a coalition though. Probably not quite yet, but if they risk an, uh, approaching a coalition, then we can take war reparations and be done with it. So there we go. And now we've got a little bit more ground. Oh, and actually, we can seize the land now. Let's take another mission. Let's see, clergy wants some uh, base tax in Hafun. Manpower levels of 50. That's not a bad one, to be fair. Or Damot has a base product. Oh, wait, is Damot? Damot is one of those gold provinces, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, so that would be a little bit tricky to get, but that would be 500 ducats. You know what? I'm going to take that. We're going to fall spending a bit of uh, mill points to increase the development, though. Ah, now we need a little bit more points, like one more month, and then we can get this done. But it's going to increase the gold income quite a bit, so I'm okay with that. Naval contract. Uh, I'm going to take another few trade ships, actually. And then we need to get the manpower back quickly. Uh, right, that reminds me. We've still got one army up here. Let's uh, go ahead and send that to Egypt. And then one of these armies is going to get up here already. Need to spread out the troops a little bit. But there we go. That was a fairly successful uh, endeavor. Oh, right. And this is, of course, all the coring that we need to do on the uh, formerly Mamluk territories. Let's get that done. There we go. That's uh, a lot of ducats again. Let's go ahead and do a few manufacturers, shall we? So the things that are going to be... Oh, wow. That's going to be a lot of money in Cairo. And then Alexandria is going to be quite a bit. And there's a few more manufacturers over here with copy production that are going to be quite a bit of money. We'll do those. I'll also go ahead and get a few training fields, perhaps. The beer, yeah, that's going to be 3,000 extra. Yeah, that's fine. To the total manpower, not to the monthly. If it was monthly, that'd be quite something. I'm going to pull this one back. And then, uh, right, we've got the government reforms uh, almost done. I think there's uh, what, like just one more that we need to do. Oh, oh, bit of a rebellion. Oh, belly tune. Oh, Hadramo had that already uh, colonized, and they got another one in here. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. But that's going to be a bit of a problem to deal with. At least until they get out of there. And we need another 10,000 manpower for all the reinforcements. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I'd say that was pretty good. Uh, are the Ottomans still fighting? They are still fighting Bohemia. They are down to 200 manpower. Well, yeah, 200,000 troops. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure the Bohemians are really not going to be winning that. They got 60,000 at least. But it ain't easy. Got plenty of sailors, so that's always nice. 
okay it's a little more coring underway because the overextension of 50% is a bit uh, rough right now I suppose since we don't control all of this anymore we don't get even nearly as much money oh well I suppose at this point we could actually just uh, oh right um Darfur Fort it can probably be mothballed if need be I don't think there's going to be too much fighting in the Jerusalem. I do want to make sure that that doesn't get mothballed. But then we can go ahead and just uh, mothball the forts. To save us a bit more coin. And I guess we could also reduce the... Oh, rebels across the border. Kill one separatist. Okay, you're going to go down south. The other one's going to stay in here somewhere. I think... Um, yeah, Darfur could actually work. That one's going to go into Egypt. I guess uh, one of these could go into... Hadramut. Oh, right. And speaking of Hadramut, we can start annexing the vessel now. It's going to take uh, four Diplo points per month, so actually at this point it might be worthwhile switching to the Diplo focus. Just so that we can, you know, get the ideas underway and all that. Okay, another cores, or oh, a few cores actually underway. One is the... Oh, right, it's building three frigates here directly. Well, that's going to give us a bit more trade power in Alexandria, which is not bad. Oh, and they managed to see down the pro. I mean, it's a bit far away, mind you, so that doesn't. Oh, that's from Portugal, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Portuguese. So that's why the Portugal uh, army is moving through here. Oh, actually, no, it's going to the other way. Never mind. Well, let's go ahead and take this one just to do the rebel suppression down here for the time being. That one's going to go down south. I guess, actually, the 10,000 men army can probably move in here for now. How's our force limit? We could have another five if we need to. I'm probably not going to do that quite yet. Actually, what are our missions right now? So we still need to get the market thing. We did get the train to Kawa. That gave us the Elmic Professional and allowed us to use the uh, Kawa con Conquerors. That gives them a bit more uh, discipline and all that. It's not too shabby. But beyond that, I suppose there's the foothold in Arabia. Once we annex our vassal, that's going to give us uh, that one. It's also going to give us a whole lot more new areas with permanent claims and more trade power till the end of the game, really. All right, then, uh, let's see. Oh, centralized estate, right. Um, <laughs> Biblical Sabbath reform. Or, religious unity. Oh, no, okay, so we do need to get the Biblical Sabbath reform. Uh, right, so that's in clergy, isn't it? What does it do? This one, mission strength. Oh, it doesn't really have that one. It reduces max absolutism a little bit, but... Uh, Knowledge Reform, Progress Modifier, National Tax Modifier, ah, right, so it's a bit less taxes, but higher missionary effectiveness, so we'll take that one. And what do we need for the other portion? Absolutism, at least 40, or Stability 3 and uh, 9 admin per month. Well, it's Stability 1 right now, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Let's go ahead and take this trade ship out and send it to protect trade in Gulf of Aden. So we've got even more uh, trade power in here. And we'll wait for the fleet over here to be ready. It's going to take a while, but uh, it'll be fine. And the annexation is going to be done... Ooh, that's going to take a while. Well, they are fairly sizable vassal, mind you, so it kind of makes sense. But that's one of the reasons why we need to get the focus on Diplo now, because it is going to be mm, quite costly otherwise. Or despite that, really. There we go, that's the second ship already done. Wait, oh right, they're sieging down the provinces down here. We've still got the army heading south. It will be there eventually. But they might siege down Tanga as well. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, speaking of which, we could probably go ahead and get the... Um... Oh, share maps. Sure, Central Africa. We can give you maps of that, I guess. Uh, right, so part here. Let's go ahead and get that into level 2. Center of trade. Because that's going to allow us to maybe hold back a bit more of the trade going further south. Because it gives, basically gives us a little bit more trade power up here. It's not necessarily going to be quite as effective as maybe upgrading this one. And is that... Oh, it's got a marketplace. Right, it could be upgraded, of course. That's probably what it's uh, trying to tell me. We still need a bit more manpower. Ooh. Oh. Trade advisor for half the cost. We already got... Hmm. We could get the trade advisor for half the cost, actually. But that's going to save us a monthly income... A decent bit. We can't upgrade that to level 3, mind you, but that's alright. We're still making 15 ducats. In terms of the diet, oh, Algarbia wants the church or cathedral. A nobility wants Hadramut to own less than one cities. Sure, one of the following. Oh, where is the. Shahir. Oh, that one. Well, we are annexing that, but how long do we have time? No, we wouldn't have enough time to build or do that one. 
And uh, Marika wants a workshop. We got the manufacturer there already. Yeah, no, that's actually going to be probably the easiest one to do then. We just need to get a little bit of cash, of course. Once we've dealt with some of the rebellions, we can l reduce the army maintenance for a little while. Oh, and there we go. We defeated the rebellion Nitanga. It's going to go ahead and see DC. Oh, Persia versus Hormuz. Um, sure. Does mean a little bit less uh, income for us, perhaps, but that's all right. So Hormuz, I guess we can just go ahead and send one army in there. I don't want to spend too much uh, time and effort on this war. It's Yas and Khorasan, so yeah, it's not really that much for us. Other than maybe sinking in some enemy fleets, I guess. That is something we can do. Let's go and blockade the Straits of Hormuz. They can still move troops through there, mind you, but it's uh, going to be a bit of an inconvenience, at least. So I suppose what I should do... Oh no, we're going to have to convert these provinces first. I want to convert all of these to Coptic. Or at least much of them as possible. But once we've converted them, we can add them into the um, trade company. It's just going to take a little while. But yeah, annexation of uh, that. So 1653. Yeah, oh, it's over a thousand deploy total. Well, on the other hand, we don't need to call those provinces then. So it's going to be slightly easier in that regard. Operational silk fabrics. Okay. And do we have... Oh no, we've got two places that we haven't... Uh, Board yet, but that's alright. Let's go ahead and protect trade in. I could protect trade in Aleppo. Or just. No, I'm gonna go Alexandria. That's probably gonna be the easy option. And some of the missionaries are almost done, so that's good. I don't know if there's any province that we can currently convert beyond those right now. Um, Probably not right now. Yeah, we're coring everything else. So it's gonna be a small little gap there, I reckon. But at the same time, some of the coring is already fairly well underway. All things considered. Uh, right, so we're just going to go ahead and have this sit in Malindi for now. And then do a little bit of rebel suppression there. That's... Uh, oh, right, and we've got this army. That can do some rebel suppression in North uh, Africa. And I suppose a little bit in uh, further east as well. And then this is going to do a little bit of rebel suppression up here. Probably nothing massive, mind you, but it'll help. Oh, Benghazi is almost caught already. That's good. And that's uh, conversion done. Let's get the coring underway. Uh, Bagrimi. And then there's one more. Oh, Khanem, but that's going to take a little bit more time. It's a bit slightly higher development, I suppose. And potentially some other modifiers in there. But they oh! Ottomans have some uh, separatists going on. Plus, uh, the Bohemians start seizing down the areas around... Well, the east of Black Sea. Near the Caucasus, I suppose. They are still kind of winning the war, though. But I suppose, you know, they got 250,000 men. So, yeah, they've got a, a, quite a bit more men than we do. I still need quite a bit of reinforcement for the army here as well. But hopefully, if we just use one army for this war, we'll be mostly fine, I reckon. It's not going to be that expensive. And there we go. The overextension has gone down to 46% now. So that is slowly improving. Uh, actually, no, we're going to go down that way. And also, I need to get the um, workshop up here, didn't I? Not going to be a huge amount of income, mind you. Wait, what are they sieging down? Oh. Let's go and say on Jerusalem, then. But yeah, it looks like... Well, Hormuz is probably not going to do all that well in this war. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the troops back. Just make sure that they don't, you know, march too far in here. There's a bit of uh, Hormuz and separatists over there that we might have to deal with. But as long as we got our army in Jerusalem, one over here, and then... Well, they might move through Ottoman territory still. That's how they got in here in the first place. Oh, there we go. That's a couple. Oh, and we lost the three star general. Well, that's not good. Well, let's get another one. Two, two, three, one. I mean, it's not quite as good as the previous one, mind you, but I guess it'll do. And there we go. All this section is less than 40% now. So that should start impacting a little bit of the unrest and all that. Well, those are the corruption, I suppose. Actually, let me double check. What was the modifiers again? Oh yeah, it does have an impact on the unrest. Well, there we go, another core done. And Zabit is going to be cored very shortly. Then we'll start converting more of these provinces. How quickly would that be? I suppose we can't see it right now because we don't have a missionary in there. But I guess we've got a fairly good uh, conversion speed still total. Merchant... F oh! Merchant fractures. We can get three more cannibalism. Some uh, legitimate and prestige. 
or lose Mercantilism and get some money. I'm going to just take the Mercantilism, really, because we've now got to uh, 18%, still pretty low, admittedly. But it's still nice to have. Oh, and Bohemia will seat uh, one, two, three, four provinces to Ottomans. Oh dear, that border go is horrendous in there. Now, admittedly, they still got quite a bit of armies. Uh, how much uh, could we have? No, not much more, actually. Not yet. Oh, Serenica, on the other hand, we could turn that into a state. That will make converting the provinces a little bit easier. And we'll probably get a bit more money out of it, plus some more force limit and all that. Although, not necessarily immediately, but let's get the last core underway. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and send this one back here. Oh, there we go. That's another core done. That's the fort court. Uh, do we have any more workshops that are actually worthwhile? Most of them are not really that uh, valuable. We could upgrade some more bastions. Like the one in Jazan. That was a mountain province, right? Yeah, it is. And it's this one. Yeah, that's uh, rebel suppression. Yeah, basically everything's... Uh, no, actually not everything, but a lot of the places are doing some rebel suppression already. Or a lot of the armies, rather, are doing suppression. Now, how is our... Okay, we got about 50% professionalism. Uh, most of that is just gained through hiring more generals. We could do some drilling at the same time. Well, actually, is there... There's a little bit unrest over there. So we'll keep that as is. Oh, right, Hadram is uh, upset. What is their uh, problem there, then? Economic power? Um, relative army power? They do like me. They do trust me. They got a lot of development. We got the royal marriage, overlord, enforced religion... Right, I could probably just blockade the rulers again, right? Oh, I could pay off their debt. You know what, I'm going to do that. That makes them happy. At least for a while. And then we're getting 30 tuckets per month. Oh, wow. We do need a little bit of reinforcement, so it's not that bad, luckily. Now, we're just uh, blockading in here. We're probably spending a bit on sailors. Actually, not that much sailors. So we're good on that. Okay, where are these going? Merchants landed. Well, that's not good. If they're going to go all the way over there, we might need to deal with that army. Oh, well, there we go. Base production in America. And we can get the government reform. So, uh, we can get one free policy per category, which is very strong. Uh, monarch sk diplomacy skill plus one. The stability loss of monarch death. And focus cooldown minus five. Or absolutism. And max absolutism plus ten administration efficiency. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the legislative houses. Because being able to get more of the policies for free, that seems like a very good idea. We could put in the naval leader, or the hold the weather gauge as a policy right now, but I don't know if we... Oh, hold on, we didn't take the extra policies, did we? There was one that I was uh, considering. Oh yeah, we got the core creation cost and all that. We could put the possible policies one afterwards. Which is that one. Right now, even if we go for three policies per category, we only pay for one, so that's uh, still a pretty decent option. There we go, that's another core done. Is there any... Oh, right. I guess since we got the free policy, might as well put that in. We can then remove it later on. It probably won't hurt to have it in there, at least. Uh, right, so we've got some missionaries going on. We have... Okay, we're seven years ahead of time in tech. Mill tech is probably something that we'll catch up in fairly shortly. We do have one tech advantage over the Ottomans. We can get the second one, that's going to be even more. Oh, and we can get the Yemen area into a state. You know what, actually, we're not going to make this into a state, because we are going to be putting this into the trade company. And there we go, that's another conversion done. What are we converting? Uh, no, it's still mostly uh, Sirenica that we're converting. Yeah, uh, Tarana, Darna, and Bardia. I'm also going to go ahead and get another trading field for Manpal. Oh, Axum, oh, right, they already had the one level. Or the first level of the building, so that's good. That's another conversion done. Now it's search. So it's even more on the um, North Africa side of things, but that's fine. Glory. Okay, we can afford losing some prestige. That's good by me. Oh, right. Let's actually go ahead and. I know we're still at war. I'm going to go ahead and mothball some of the forces regardless. It's very. Oh, actually, that, that should not be mothballed. That's going to be very important to uh, fort there. Gonna go ahead and uh, wreck these uh, Hormuz and Separatists in here. Oh, and people are embracing printing press. Well, good on them. What else could we build in there? Supply limit. Okay, local defensiveness. No, that's not really a bad one. Local goods produce. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna take that one. In here. That's gonna give us a bit more um, coin and all that. 
Oh yeah, and totaling of his 140 ducats. That's going a little bit up and down, unfortunately, but I guess it's better than nothing. And then uh, our expenditure is still a decent bit, but we're getting 30 ducats per month currently. While we're not, uh, you know, seizing down too many stuff and all that. Makes life a little bit easier. Let's go for the agent uh, from Song Highlights. Oh, there we go. There's the rebellion done. Let's start building a spy network in uh, Ottoman lands. We do need to do the war against them sooner or later. So if we were to declare war on them directly, Tunis, Bukhara and Kilwa would join. That is a lot of troops though. I could probably get Persia in. Uh, Russia I cannot because they got 3,000 ducats in debt. All right then. Um, Portugal we could probably get. But that would actually give us the advantage in numbers. Hmm. Not going to do that yet because we're still in the war and all that. But and we have basically no manpower. I'm going to go back to Mazarin and just seize that one down. I'm just going to sit there. Oh, Gun and Borneo separate. Oh, right, that's going to fire soon enough. There's a core gotten in here at least. That's good. And in Bagrimi. Are these... Oh, right, some of these are already converted. I could... No, actually, no. These are part of the same uh, continent still. Let's actually have a look. What is the... Ah, oh, subcontinent Northern Africa. Okay, and then there's the uh, Southern Africa. Right, just uh, split in two. So we can't turn these areas into trade companies, but that's fine. We can use those for other purposes. But Arabia, we can turn into uh, trade companies, which we have already started doing. Of course, a very small amount thus far, until we've gotten some conversions. Oh, Bishra is being converted already. Well, there we go. I can also see that there's a bit of a Hormuz army up there. Let's go ahead and go get them. I think Hormuz' capital is probably going to get seized down fairly shortly. And Khorasan is already low in Judaism, so they will probably lose the war soon enough. Or be beast out of the war soon enough. i go after that small army in there. I don't know if they'll dare actually attack us. If they don't, that's fine. If they do, then, well, we'll deal with them. Okay, they're going around again. We scared them off. There we are. So we've got uh, actually a fairly good uh, border already to the west here. Of course, I wouldn't mind getting some more land in there, but that's fine. But the now the goal should be against Kilwa. Actually, I wonder. Kilwa is allied to Ottomans, right? Yeah. Oh, they got no other allies. They got Luba as a part of the trade company. I could call him Persia. Uh, together with Persia, we would not be enough against Kilwa. Of course, I don't have a Cassis belly against them, actually. So let's go ahead and start building a spy network, shall we? So if I can get Portugal in that war, I'll take the stuff from Kilwa in here, at least get border with Portugal, and then, um, alternatively, actually, if we were declaring war on Ottomans directly, but they do have a few allies in there, but again, I can get R Portugal and Persia in that case, because we have no diplomats to send right now, but that would be probably the better option. We can still take some land from Kilwa in that war. Bukhara is over there. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. That might cause some issues for maybe the Russians or Persian. Oh, actually, Russians not going to be joining in. Right. I forgot about that. Oh, now they got even more debt. Oh, wow. What are they doing? Just taking loads after loans, I guess. Well, this war should be over soon enough. We've got the war goal. We've got Hormuz. And we've got plenty of money from blockading their ports. But unfortunately, we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, get the links down below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.